we cannot compromise in that. We know we need to bring our tithe and offerings every time we are blessed by God. So, but that special offering for your vow, and this is the vow we're using for the studio, where we're going to preach the gospel, the truth, the gospel of power to all over the nations of the earth. So please, I'm, I'm going to ask you, raise your hand if you need an envelope. All the ushers are ready. All the elders, can you help me? All the leaders, mentors, help me please to share all the envelopes to go quickly. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go in the name of Jesus. I need more ushers in the altar. I need envelopes on the altar. Um, Gino, there's a lot of people standing doing nothing. So I need help. Over here in the altar. Come on, if you need an envelope, lift your hands, please. I want you to give to the Lord. And listen to me. Next week, we're going to enter in the fast. I want you to raise your hand. If you mentor our House of Peace leaders, please bring your offering to the altar. Bring it now. Anybody needs an envelope for your tithe and offerings and your special vow to God. Be bold to give to God. Give an offering to boldness to God. Say, God, I'm going to bold. I'm going to be bold and give what you deserve. Lift your hands, please. Somebody will give you an envelope. If you're watching by the internet, we part, you are part of our, this house. You're being fed. You're being um, empowered. You're being, if you're fearful, get the whole series on fear, how to overcome fear. And right now, it's time to give. It's time to sow. I'm going to ask you, partners, family of King Jesus Ministry, whatever part of the states you're watching in, or any country of the world you can sow into this ministry and you can be part of what God is saying and your story of boldness and finances will make the difference and inspire others to give so I'm going to ask you now you're going to give the greatest act of bold in your finances this morning as this people has given to for you to watch us now you can give now to touch others and inspire others testimonies of people that one time gave a powerful bold offering and now they prosper. Now they have their own business. So you can do it right now. I just want you to write a check of money order and send it to that address. Or you can do it yourself and take two minutes, put it in your credit card. If you don't have any way to do it both ways, you can call. But my suggestion is to do it yourself in your credit card or check a money order that comes quickly and faster. You know, sometimes at the phone, we don't have enough people on the phone or something. So it's better for you to do it yourself. Take two minutes. Go, and tonight, I want you to stay connected. We're talking about the boldness. And I will do an impartation of boldness tonight. So lift your envelope, please. And we're going to pray. But yes, we're going to do it in a minute. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're entering now in a fast, total fast. If you have anything for your fast, please, any personal petition... A prayer petition. Put it in your fast this week. If we enter in a total fast. How many of you are fasting and praying? You have to be bold to fast today. Because fasting is not popular today. So you have to be bold. So I want you to be part of what God is doing. And for cap. So we're doing it since tomorrow. Liquid um, uh, juices. Uh, liquid only. Don't, don't, don't do the uh, liquid, the, uh, the chicken. <laughs> you just <laughs> make sure... You do liquid. So we're going to enter tomorrow. And also um, next Sunday, I will be teaching on the end time sign. Listen, of the blood moon. I want you to bring someone. People that are afraid. People that are, uh, are, are afflicted. They don't understand what's going on. And when you see that sign of the blood moon, I'm going to be speaking next Sunday. Bring someone with you. Remember, be, be a, a witness just to come to church and bring someone with you. So next Sunday, I want you to bring someone. I'm gonna, John, John, you know John, my, my teacher, my son, is, he's, a, he's a scientist. He's going to be teaching the science part. And I'm going to be teaching the spiritual part. So he knows what he's doing when he teach on, on, on blood moon. And he can explain to you very well. So he went to NASA to study that. So he knows very well. So he will do the natural, I will do the supernatural. So I want you to bring someone, and if you want to go to uh, uh, travel to space, please, I'm going to be selling ticket also for you to come to space. Touch your neighbor and tell him, I'm bold to go to space. I'm bold enough. Come on, tell him, tell him in Jesus. So uh, listen, guys. So I'm going to say something very powerful. So 
Next, we're going to have the tabernacle tomorrow with my wife. She's going to be here. Uh, you can miss the tabernacle. And the next Monday, we're going to finish the 21-day fast with a great celebration and praise and worship for a cow. Next Monday. So tomorrow we're going to be here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ, I thank you. I give you praise and I give you honor. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor right now. Father, we thank you. We sow this into your kingdom. And we declare, Father, the year of Jubilee, debt are paid for your people. In Jesus' name, I thank you. I give you praise. Amen. Can you roar? I said, can you roar? Come on, ushers. And let me, let, we're going to do something special. I know it's a little late, but we're going to do something special. How many of you are ready for cow? I know the drama ministry, we're ready, but guys, we're already late. We're going to do it at 6 p.m. Because we're already late. we got 6,000 people waiting on my side. But this is what I want you to do. Listen, Cap, this is the last Sunday for you to buy your tickets. There's some tickets still left. Listen, I don't want you to say afterwards three days of spiritual retreat. Make plan to bring your family, friends, unbelievers. I got hundreds of testimonies of people that got saved in Cap. Pastors, leaders, people in government. We're going to have the governor inaugurating the whole cap thing. We're going to have a lot of things going on. We're going to have drama. We're going to have music. We're going to have the new wine live uh, CD. Come on. It's going to be powerful. So ushers, can you hurry up, please? If you couldn't give your offering, please lift your hand. Some of the ushers will give it to you. So listen, guys, I want you to see the promo, cap promo. And if you're watching by the internet, any part of the world, there's still time for you to get your ticket. Go online and, and cap, uh, kingjesusministry.org slash cap, and you can register now before it's late. Pastors, bring all your leaders. Uh, father, mother, bring your family members. Bring your children. This is the time to rest. Listen to me. I'm going to open, listen, Thursday morning, I'm going to open the first session what God is saying for the world and for the church today and how to be prepared. Thursday night, the first night, I guess what? It's going to be the night of deliverance. So the Lord spoke to me to do Thursday night for deliverance. So let me tell you, and somebody said, yeah, but you've done it in church. Let me tell you, the atmosphere and the anointing in cap is seven times stronger. That's why you see so many breakthroughs. Because uh, there's such a powerful atmosphere. I just want you to be prepared. I want you to be ready. We only have three sessions during the day because we want the people to receive and to soak in into the presence. So there's tables outside. Get your ticket. We got food outside for you to get and help people to get the tickets. So I want you to watch the video for Cap and touch your neighbor and tell him, roar as a lion and cat. Let's go. Come on. Break forth like never before. Break into a new anointing. Have you not heard the word tonight? You must war for those things that I have promised you. Promised you. Prepare for the greatest apostolic gathering of the nations. Hear the voice of the Lord calling all apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, and laborers for Christ to come together for cap. Apostolic and Prophetic Conference 2015. Discover what God is saying now about the outpouring of the glory of God, the Jubilee celebration, deliverance, the transfer of wealth, and his rest. With conference speakers, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn. As the dark of the culture is growing darker, then it's time for us as the lights of God to shine brighter. Apostle Rennie McLean. It's about time the church has a Prophet Brian Card. I come to prophesy that I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Prophet Anna Maldonado. When we pray, the mysteries of heaven must be revealed. And Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. The Spirit of God is upon me, and I will release it upon you. Great force! Great force! Great force! And live worship with new wine and musical guest Marcos Brunet. 
Cap 2015. What God is saying now. October 8th, 9th, and 10th at the American Airlines Arena in Miami, Are you ready for Florida. Cap 2015? You need to put Ministry. your hands together. Come on. 305-398-7999. We got uh, the Cap tickets in the back. Don't forget as well. We got the Cap shirts. They're $10. So some there in the library. How many of you like the cap design? What is God saying now? It's in English and Spanish. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Come on. And, and for those of you that like rap music, I'm going to be releasing some rap music in cap. So you can, you can hear that in cap, all right? So let's close our eyes and, 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 and let's, let's do the call for the lost. I know there's a lot of people in this place, like the apostle said, that you haven't had courage. You haven't been committed to a cause. And what is that cause? That cause is Jesus Christ. Right now, at this very moment, millions and billions of people are dying of cancer, of AIDS, of suicide. Every 30 seconds, someone is dying. A young person is dying. And I came here to tell you that there is a reason why you're on this earth. There is a purpose. There is a destiny why you're here. Many of you say, yeah, but I have my religion. I chose my religion. It's not about a religion. It's about choosing a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you're in this place and you said, I've tried drugs. I've tried ecstasy. I've tried pills. I've tried everything and nothing has filled me. Let me tell you, the only thing that can fill you is Jesus, the Son of God. If you're in this place, I know there are thousands of people that are watching right now on the internet that you're saying, I've never had a relationship with Jesus Christ. I never knew his love. I never received love. Many of you came here and you're depressed. You're lonely. You're sad. You're filled with emptiness. You don't know how to fill yourself. The only way you can fill yourself is receiving Jesus in your heart, confessing him in your life. And if you're in this place right now, it doesn't matter where you came from. It doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter what type of things you did in your past. Some of you maybe say, yeah, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go up and receive Jesus. You're never going to be ready. It's not a coincidence you're in this place. If you're here tonight and you say, Pastor, I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm on this earth. You know why you're on this earth? Because you have a destiny. You've been called by God. You've been chosen by God at such a time as this. If you're in this place and you say, it's my first or my second time, dear friend, you are here because God chose you to be here. And if you're here right now and you say, Pastor, I want to commit my life to Jesus. I'm tired of my crisis. I'm tired of, of thinking about divorcing my wife. I'm tired of constantly being an alcoholic. I'm tired of my addictions. I'm tired of my pain. If that is you and you want to make a commitment to Jesus Christ, and you say, Pastor, I want to commit completely a radical, courageous, like the apostle said, a courageous act. I want to do it. If that is you, at the count of three, without hesitation, I want you to lift up your hands and say, I want to receive Jesus with all of my heart. I'm tired of the world. I'm tired of all the religion. I didn't say change your religion. Some of you are saying, I'm Jewish, I'm Muslim, whatever background you came from. It's about a relationship with Jesus Christ. If you're in this place and you say, Pastor, I want to receive Jesus at the count of three. I want you to be bold. I want you to be courageous. I want you to lift up your hands. If you're watching on the internet, just lift up your hands. One, two, three. Quickly, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. God bless you. God bless you in the back. God bless you. Lift up your hands. You need to be courageous to lift up that hand. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I know there's more people. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I know there's more backsliders that are here. And maybe you left the ways of God. I'm offended at my leader. I'm offended at the pastor. I'm offended. Listen. 
come back to the ways of Jesus Christ. If you're in this place and you say, I want to go back to Jesus and I want to join these hands. I want you to lift up your hands. One, two, three. Lift them up. Lift them up. God bless you. 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 If you lifted your hand in the first or the second, and this is the last calling I want you to do. I want you to stand to your feet and we go from faith to faith, glory to glory. I want you to take that next step of faith and be courageous. I want to pray for you. One, two, three, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet quickly, quickly. I want to pray for you. I want to pray. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up. Come up here quickly. Be bold. Have courage. I want you to come up here. We want to pray for you quickly. I know there's more people. If you're watching on the internet, I know there's more people that are watching on the internet. I know there's more people that are here that you need Jesus. You want a relationship with Jesus. You're tired of everything. You want something new. You want change. I want you to come up to the front. And I want you to go where the flag is. If you're watching on the internet, I want you to make this simple prayer with me. Say with me, Father God, right now, forgive me of all my sins. I repent right now with all of my heart. Jesus, I confess you with my mouth and I believe with my heart that Jesus died and was rose again. Amen and amen. Church, put your hands together. Right now there is a party in heaven for all of these souls and that's why we are here. That's why you are here. Put your hands together. I want the church to stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Very briefly, Pastor Brian, I just want to let everybody know that we have King's Court this Wednesday on the 23rd at 7 p.m. in room 4. All the business people, we want you all to come to King's Court Wednesday, the 23rd at 7 p.m. in room number 4. Also, if you're a volunteer for CAP, there's a meeting for you this Friday at 7 p.m. also in room 4. And we want to remind everyone, Apostle is giving the class on evangelism, 8.30 and Thursdays for USM. And Prophet Anna is teaching deliverance at 6.30. You can come to the table outside, get registered today, and don't miss it. Father God, we thank you today. We thank you for the word of boldness that has been released upon your people. Father, we declare this week they go when they do mighty acts of God for your glory and for your kingdom. Be empowered now. Be blessed now to show the works of God. It works and indeed we bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, people of God. We ask you to exit quickly as possible to your left and to your right. We've got the next service waiting. So I want to ask you to very quickly um, just go ahead and exit. Please keep, keep, uh, keep exiting the building. We want to ask you if you want to greet somebody, greet them outside and just continue to move. Do not stop in the aisles. Do not stop at the doors. Make sure we clear out the aisles. Make sure we clear out the way to the door quickly, quickly, quickly. We've got the next service coming in and they're ready to go. Bienvenido al pueblo que está aquí. Tenemos hoy un servicio poderoso. Prepárese en un minuto para tomar su asiento. We want to ask the English service to continue to exit to the left and to the right, in the front and in the back doors as quickly as possible. You can greet people as you get out, but please don't stop in the middle of the aisle and do not block the aisle and do not block the door. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Have a blessed week this week.
Please continue to exit. Continue to exit as quickly as you can. Especially those in the rear doors. We need you to move as quickly as possible. Out in the rear doors, move as quickly as possible. And please don't block the aisles as we let the people in for the 11th service. Pase por favor, los del servicio de español, Dios le bendiga. Le pedimos que pase adelante, que llene todos los espacios, no nos deje sitios vacíos. Y tome su lugar bien rapidito, bien rapidito. Siga pasando, bienvenido pueblo de Dios. Tome su lugar ahí rapidito, pero con una actitud de, de expectativa de lo que Dios va a hacer en esta mañana. Pase bien rápido y tome asiento, tome asiento. Le pedimos que por favor no deje espacio vacío, sino que vayan llenando toda la fila. Siga pasando, siga pasando. Siga pasando rapidito, rapidito. Vayan llenando los lados. Vayan llenando los lados. Siga pasando rápido, rápido, rápido. Y tome asiento y bienvenido. Bienvenido al servicio del Rey Jesús, servicio de las 11. Prepárese para recibir lo que Dios tiene para usted en esta mañana. ¿Cuántos están contentos de estar aquí en esta mañana? Yo estoy contenta de estar en la casa del Señor. Vamos todos a alabar juntos. Y vamos a hablar y a cantar de la grandeza de nuestro Dios. Amén. Él es un Dios ve, veraz, el mismo y Él es fiel para con nosotros. Así que vamos todos alegres. ¿Cuántos están contentos? Yo estoy alegre. Amén. Let's sing this. Come on.
quiero que ustedes canten con revelación en esta mañana. Vamos a cantar todos con revelación. Nuestro Dios no es un muñeco. Nosotros tenemos una relación con un Dios vivo que resucitó, murió por nosotros, fue a la tumba, resucitó en el tercer día. Si no, que la ciencia me encuentre el cuerpo. No lo podrá encontrar porque Él está en el trono y eso es Él a quien adoramos. Y decimos vivo.
Después de eso dice, pedís lo que quiera y así se glorificará. Así que nosotros vivimos de Él. Él en nosotros, nosotros en Él. Y así nos mantenemos en vida. Por eso cantamos, tú vives en mí, dile. Tú vives en mí, vives en mí. Soy tuyo para siempre. Tú vives en mí, vives en mí. Soy tuyo para siempre. Tú vives en mí, vives en mí. Soy tuyo para siempre. de poder a veces sí a veces no y you no know, el domingo solamente no él es el todo poderoso él es el fuente de todo poder eres la verdadera fuente de todo poder por eso nosotros levantamos nuestra alabanza y contamos de las maravillas que tú has hecho jesús porque son muchas las maravillas que tú has hecho por eso con todo nuestro corazón con todo nuestro cuerpo y toda nuestra energía se la vamos a dar a Él. Vamos a presentar sacrificio de alabanza. Tal vez tú estás cansado y costó mucho para llegar aquí. Ahora vamos a darle sacrificio a Él de alabanza. Amén. Vamos a empezar en el... Levanto alabanzas a ti. Dile. Porque eres un seco de todo poderoso, levanto alabanzas a ti, porque eres un seco de mi ser aguena, levanto alabanzas a ti, porque eres un seco de levanto alabanzas a ti, porque eres un seco de
Sobre todo nombre, fuerte Dios, grítalo, y el poder del Dios se desata, ¿eh? y todo es posible. Jesús es el nombre, sobre todo nombre, fuerte Dios, grítalo, y el poder de Dios se desata, ¿eh? y todo es posible. Y Jesús es el nombre, sobre todo nombre, fuerte Dios. Y todo es posible, Jesús es el nombre sobre todo nombre, lo que Dios, el poder de Dios se desata, y todo es posible. 
Nothing, no, hay más, no hay nada mejor que estar en la presencia del Dios vivo. ¿La puedes sentir? Yo la puedo sentir. Y tu presencia es mejor. Es mejor que la vida. Su presencia es aquí, qué lindo es, qué lindo es él. Siente esa libertad, esa es la presencia del Padre en este lugar, yes. Oh, how beautiful, qué precioso, qué precioso. Qué precioso eres eso. Oh, let's flow for a little bit. Let's just flow for a little bit. A la 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 la. No levantas tu voz y levanta tu voz y haz Salgo un canto de tu interior a él, come on. Jesús te amamos, Jesús te amamos. Nada se fue. Cristian de Roma, cántale nada, 
¿Por qué no levantas eso? ¿Puedes sentir su amor? ¿Puedes sentirlo? ¿Lo puedes sentir? Amarazo Dile tu amor Y tu amor Es sobrenatural No tiene condición no tiene
manos arriba. Recibe Jesús toda la gloria, todo el honor. Tuyo es el reino, tuyo es el poder y tuya es la gloria. Padre, en medio de la libertad de tu espíritu, podemos gritar y exaltar tu nombre. No importando lo que la gente piense, tuya es la adoración. Tuyo es el poder. Uno, dos, tres, grita. Qué grande es el amor de Dios. Yo quiero que le diga que está al lado, siendo pecador, Dios me amó. Salude a cinco, por favor. Dios te bendiga. Gracias, muchachos. Gracias, muchachas. Gracias. Tomen asiento, muchas gracias Gracias, aleluya Hay una libertad súper especial en este lugar Ya se puede sentir cap en el ambiente Ya se puede, ¿Cuántos están listos para acá, para allá Tres días de retiro, de gloria, de bendición Tres días de poder, tres días de yo quiero contarle que en un momento voy a contarle muchas cosas Pero quiero que tome asiento ahí rapidito quieres Y yo quiero que abra la Biblia por favor En el libro de los proverbios el capítulo 28 El versículo 1 Mientras las personas están llegando Proverbios capítulo 28 verso 1 Si usted lo tiene en proverbios capítulo 28 verso 1 Por favor tomen asiento quieres rapidito Siéntenme las personas Proverbios capítulo 28 verso 1 Quiero voy a terminar la serie hoy Y hoy en la noche voy a terminar con una ministración